Hey everyone, welcome to Soil Goddess. In today's video, we are going to see how to make table tennis bat out of waste cardboard box. And the fun part is we are not going to use hot glue gun here because in all people are obsessed with this hot glue gun and they are using in all the crafts. But I am trying to be uh, not using the hot glue gun and just trace the table tennis kind of bat with your free hand and then cut it with a craft, craft knife or even you can use scissors for this already we have done two bats and we are going to do another two from this side and we are not going to waste even the sides so we are going to do we are going to take the another part from here and here so finally we will get six bats here though we have six bats here we are not going to make six bats actually we are just going to make two bats but we are, we want our project to be really strong and uh, it should last long so i'm making some three layers for this so it gets st stuck well and it is really hard like wood and i'm using homemade wheat flour glue which i have used for several of my projects and crafts and i leave the link of homemade wheat glue uh, in the description box it's really easy and the fun part is we are not going to paint the bat or decorate the bat it's really easy we are just going to take a printout of whatever picture you like color printout or black and white printout whatever you like and just apply the glue and put the bat on it and the same thing we are going to make with the other side so this is how it sticks it's fun really you don't want to paint your bat and it looks awesome at last and just gonna load it with the board book so it gets stuck well and we are going to repeat the same for the next bat and you have already known if you have been following soil goddess that i am really eco freak and i don't really want to waste any resource around me and that's the reason i just don't want to waste even the glue out of the spoon and the ball and i'm just taking all the greasing all the glue and using for this project and i'm putting my laptop on it so how do you want to dry it you have to leave uh, the weight objects like books or laptop or whatever the heavy objects on the bat for two days and take it even if it is not dry take it out and put it in a put the bat in a ventilated space don't put it in your uh, sun or under the sun you just put it in a ventilated space so that it will not catch mold because we are using homemade wheat flour glue because wheat is a is a substance like it's a food substance and you really don't want to catch uh, any mold so you have to keep two days wait uh, keep the heavy object for two days and leave uh, the bat in ventilated space till it gets dried completely you can see the sides are not really closed well so for that reason i'm just using masking tape to close the sides you can even use a printer tapes or colorful tapes and uh, give it a bling so finally i'm just using this masking tape on all the sides so that the finishing of the bat looks good when you're using it in the curved portions of the bat cut it little like this small tapes would work for the curves so you can just do the same process around all the sides and for both the bats and it's ready now and the fun part is we are just going to take a little small plastic ball heat the nail and make two um holes it's really simple and easy but be careful when you're uh, heating the nail because it it's really hot you can see i'm just struggling to put a hole you can just uh, wear a gloves or a mitten and and then use the uh, heated nail to put a hole like this i would not say that it's really tough to make this but it is really hard to touch the a hot nail you can already see my finger from one hole to the other i'm just inserting needle and thread i'm using woolen thread or yarn here you can also use jute thread and knot it well and uh, you can just take the other end of the thread and uh, take your masking tape and put it on your wall like this you can use in the door 
like this like on below the door uh, i mean above the door so that you can play in the open space if you are living in a small apartment or you really a small place this will work well and you can have fun playing with your kid and i know you will not find ball really you all people can't find balls like this and if you don't want to spend a penny for it and you can just take your empty uh, tape roll like this and put a knot with your thread and even stick it to the wall or if you have some space outer space or tree trunk you can just put it like on the branches of your tree and you can play outdoor with your kiddo if you want your bats to last long you can just coat it with varnish and use it forever like wooden bats hope this video is useful for you guys if so please share this video to your friends and family and subscribe to soil goddess if you have not subscribed it and like and comment thanks for watching